out on the driving range. It's always a good time to tee off. It's hard. It's very hard. Hard on, hard on my brother, myself, and my sister. We grew up here. Yeah. You know, it's part of our lives. The Liverpool Public Golf and Country Club has been in the Ajamian family since 1947. But after seven decades in this community, Richard Ajamian is in the stages of selling his family's public course. Ajamian says the biggest reason he wanted to accept the offer from real estate developer Longley Jones was due to increasing property and school taxes. After we see the tax bill this year, we just said that, uh, you know, because the taxes are so high, what do we, you know, what kind else can we do? Yeah. The town won't give you a break and we compete with Green Lakes, Battle Island, and, and they don't pay any taxes. They're staying on golf courses. It's not fair to all the golf courses around. They should reduce their taxes, but and not just for us, for everybody. This golf course has seen other proposals, such as a deal with Walmart, be voted down by the town of Clay. Knowing that, many teeing up on this course say they want to see it stay here instead of more developments in their community. There's a lot of properties here, at yeah. least I know of. Um, in the area and there's not a lot of golf courses here so it wouldn't be bad to keep this one around.